Hello, hello everyone. You're welcome back to another edition of our positive word. The focus today is the final day. The final day. What is this day? I come back to remind us all that there will be a final day for you and I. The ultimate concluding day of our lives. The day where we stand and talk to God directly. Hmm, how's that going to happen? Well, not in our mortal bodies, but our souls will interact with our Lord and give account of the life we lived while we were here on earth. How prepared are you? Are you ready? If your final day happens to be today, if my final day happens to be today, are we ready? We're told in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27, it is appointed to man once to die, but after this, the judgment. Everyone must die once, then they are judged. That's the easy to read translation. It is interesting how Millions of folks live life as if they would live forever. One would almost be convinced that such people appear to have found and drunk the serum of eternal life. So they're extremely bold, confident and assertive when they deny the existence of God. They reject Jesus, curse everything related to God and they go on to live frivolously frivolously for themselves. Dearly beloved, the final day will come for everyone. It doesn't matter how you lived. It doesn't matter how much, how loudly and those that supported you in rejecting and denying the existence of God, the final day will come. You and I have people we know, both in our families, in our friendship, group, friendship groups in the world who have passed that was their final days. It is coming. We're told in Romans chapter 14 verse 10 B. We will all stand before God and he will judge us all. So whether you like it or not, whether you agree or not, it makes no difference. You will stand before God and will be judged. Even those of us who are children of God will be judged as well. We must give account of the life we lived. There is no getting out of this. Heaven and hell, hell are as real as this present life we live. Your soul, our souls will live forever. You get the chance to choose where that will be. I hope and pray that you make the right choice by, cho by choosing life in Christ Jesus. We're told in Matthew chapter 12, verse 36, I tell you that everyone will have to answer for all the careless things they have said. This will happen one day, on the day of judgment. Yes, it is essential that we take note of the things we say. But remember, the judgment day will come. A judgment day when those, even those who were judges, of other people here on earth will be called to answer for themselves. Great and small, all would be judged to speak up for him or herself. Hmm. The final day will come. In Luke chapter 16, from verse 19, we read the story of the rich man and poor Lazarus whose final days arrived and they found themselves in different destinations. Yes, that day came suddenly for them and they arrived. The poor man in Abraham's bosom and the rich man in hell. Final days will come. It's just the cycle of life. I do not know when, we do not know when. There is a final day waiting for all of us, irrespective of our status, position, location, wealth, belief, opinions, whether you decide to live for God or not, that final day will come. 
we will all stand before our Creator God to give account of what we did with the truth in Christ Jesus and how we lived here on earth. But what will your excuse be or what convincing reason will you give for why you rejected Jesus? Who will you blame? How do you intend to defend yourself when you stand before God on that final day? Dearly beloved, there will be no excuse on that day if you have rejected God and the provisions he made to have you saved. Nothing you present will be good enough. I do not know when my final day will come. I only ask the Holy Spirit to guide me and help me to live right. I want him to give me the grace to do and be only what will bring glory to God. Help me to live ready and not to be taken unawares. It is my prayer that the Lord will touch more hearts, people everywhere, to live conscious of this final day of reckoning and be prepared for it when it comes. Will you be prepared, my friend? The final day will come. God bless you.